And welcome to you from the Japan National Stadium in Tokyo. It is Kokuritsu Day. It's a very, very special day. And a great atmosphere inside what is uh, some arena, as we'll see in just a moment's time. FC Tokyo struggling so far in this J-League campaign. And they really need to get some momentum. Lost 3-0, they were poor at Kawasaki Frontale last time, and they play an Urawa red side, still finding their feet, but doing so in half-decent form. They start this round in 8th, only five of the remarkable Machida Zelvia at the top of the table. But there's lots to enjoy around the game today. Quite a sight, isn't it? Sit back and enjoy it for a moment as we wait for the teams to walk here. Always a special feeling around these games here at this wonderful venue. Akihiko Ikeuchi, our referee, leads them out. And they walk out into that. But now, amidst all of the fanfare, you have a job to do as a player and need to concentrate, need to focus. There's been precious little of that from Urawa Reds, historically one of the very best defensive teams in the J-League, but not so in this campaign so far. Something that they need to start getting right. FC Tokyo normally play to the west of Tokyo, Urawa, and Saitama Stadium in the north. Normally an hour separates them together. Here they are, though, at the National Stadium. A home game for FC Tokyo. But very much on neutral ground. Who's going to rise to the occasion today, then? Must say, as we'll see in a moment, Peter Klamowski is named a much changed FC Tokyo side. It's a real reaction to a poor performance last time at Frontale. There's Hiroki Sakai leading the Urua players through pure class as ever. Significant change in goal as well, as we'll see in a moment for FC Tokyo. Taishi Nozawa has to start. Go Hatano suspended after his red card last time. So a second appearance, a first start for the 21-year-old. Three changes as well in that back four from Klamowski. And changes to further forward. Araki has been absolutely outstanding. Four goals in this campaign. But as you can see, it's Tower at Sumida and Anzai either side of him. And in that back four, only Bang Nagande remains. as a substitute then, Nozawa last time, the keeper, and now he starts. It's funny how quickly things can change. There is Akihiko Ikeuchi, his fourth game of this campaign, the referee. Matsuki and Sakai, the two captains here. Here's the VAR team, led by Yudai Yamamoto. Nayoya Okawa our assistant VAR today. So time to take a look at the Urawa Reds team. Only one change for them from that comeback win last time. Ayumu Ohata in for Tomowaki Okubo. Gustafsson, 
will hold that midfield together. The new arrival in this campaign, Kenny Wow and Atsuki Ito. Then in behind that front three of Watanabe, Maeda and Thiago Santana. Goals spread around so far in this campaign for the Uruwa Reds. So we're all set. Different circumstances to usual, but some players thrive on these days and others shrink. We'll see who does what here. Uruwa certainly have more experience at big occasions in terms of their playing personnel, but I suspect Klamowski will find out a lot about his FC Tokyo side today. Great atmosphere here, two fantastic sets of fans. Uruwa Reds today in the white and the black get us underway and kick from right to left in this first half. Who's going to settle first? Breaks kindly here for the prolific Araki, who gets a shot away inside the opening 30 seconds, and the follow-up is blazed over by Anzai, but that is a bright start from Klamowski's side. He said in his interview beforehand he feels that they're able to get the ball down and play, and they can outplay the Uruwa Reds here. For Matthias Hogba, these are two new coaches, is very keen to point out in a high-pressure job that this is still a team that's being constructed. That only lasts so long, though, that argument. The biggest surprise with Urua has been the defensive record. Uh, defence under pressure here again. What a bright start this is from FC Tokyo. Scooped away in the end, but Urua under pressure. It's Kenta Doi. FC Tokyo have only won seven of the previous 46 against the Urua Reds, who have been a force in the J League for so long, of course, without winning it more than once, but they knock on the door almost every season. Solid defensive header. And controlled by Watanabe. Given away, though, to Takahiro Ko, but he, in turn, is dispossessed. Fairly frantic start, this, at the National Stadium. Here's Watanabe. Ohata. Pushed wide by Yota Sato. And here's Gustafsson. It's Thiago Santana. Forward by Yota Sato. Now Gustafsson, the Swede, new arrival in this campaign. Formerly of Hacken, the former club of his coach, Hogbo.
Here's Ohata. Now Marius Hoybraten, the big Norwegian. Centre of that normally impressive defence for the last couple of seasons. Now once again he looks to drift it in behind and it's a chance for Thiago Santana, it was so simple. But Nazawa quickly off his line there. There's only really one finish available there to Thiago Santana, back and across and Nazawa read that pretty well. Reminder that FC Tokyo do have a stand-in goalkeeper here, Go Hatano. Suspended, Nazao making his first start, so that will be a good nerve settler for him. Watanabe trying to steal it away. Here's Thiago Santana. Well, lining up the strike from range. It's Yota Sato. It was a, a weekend of spectacular goals. One or two of these players trying to join that particular queue. Not just goal of the season, but goal of the month. Shouldn't be this simple, I think he is just on. It would have been looked at over and over. Just played into the channel. Nazawa just stayed up long enough. He is a, a tall individual. Magna Gande. There's Koizumi. Now Matsuki, and that's behind for a corner. Great picture that, isn't it, of what we're looking at here. See Enrique, one of the threats there, just with a little word with Kanta Doi, the two central defenders communicating. See them both near the penalty spot. And after that, it's such a poor ball in. That looked like a foul throw, but play allowed to continue, and it's behind for another corner. Rain absolutely pouring down, by the way. Sort of adds to the sense of drama around the occasion, but doesn't make it easy to play in or indeed watch. Although most of the uh, seating areas here are covered. Still cold. Powerful header away, but back it comes. That will deflect through from Matsuki's cross for another corner he'll move across to take and he'll get on with it quickly this time excellent ball in and climbing was Enrique and he nods it just wide got free and that's a a miss from Enrique because he saw that all the way. He was absolutely free and he heads it a long way wide.
was a real let off for the Urawa Reds. Here goes Sakai at the other end. Watanabe pushing it wide, and Thiago Santana with a swing of that left boot. And then away by Bang Nagande. Good, lively game so far at the National Stadium. Here's Marius Hoybraten. Great backtracking challenge there from uh, Matsuki. Anzai lost out. to set Sakai forward. And that's a foul from Sakai. As FC Tokyo look to respond down that left-hand side with Kashifu Bangnagande. Really busy attacking fullback. One short of 50 appearances for FC Tokyo now. Is Kanta Doi. Forward by Matsuki. Kawarat Sumida with a really smart bit of running there. Matsuki was interested. Here's Nakamura. Nakamura into space again. This is really smart from FC Tokyo. Is there a finish? Oh, there is! That is wonderfully well done. Beautifully constructed and powerfully finished. That's a really special goal. Fired in by Takehiro Ko. First goal for him since last September. Lovely celebration too. First for the club, for Cole. Look at this. They build it so cleverly. Wait for their moment. And nothing then that Nishikawa can do. They could have defended it better, that's for sure, but it's still supremely well worked. Now then. Is he going to look at a foul in the build-up? It won't be an offside or anything like that. It's this. Not for me, it's got... Well, you could argue it has got something to do with a goal, I suppose, because it takes a player out. Slips. Player's already on his way down. I don't know. I suppose the argument is, would you give a foul in the centre circle? Would you give a penalty? And you might. Whether the player slips or not, where would that player then have been? 
Arguably, he'd have been there to block it. I think they're going to overrule this. I think it might be disallowed. It seems really harsh, but you can see the argument. Yeah, he's given a free kick. I think it's right. It's a shame. It's a real shame because they constructed it so perfectly and it was kind of involuntary from Matsuki, but it does affect the play. It is a foul. You would give it in the centre circle. You probably would give a penalty. The only argument would be Player's knees already on the ground when he catches him. I can see why he's overturned it. I think it's the only decision he could make, really. It's the sort of decision that if we didn't have VAR and that goal had stood, it, it wouldn't seem outrageously unfair. But I think once you have VAR, you have to use it, and goals like that do get overturned, sadly. They'll just have to do it again. Such a shame for Coe as well, having scored, or at least he thought he'd scored his first goal for the club. Still, they're playing well. Klamowski has to be happy with that, it's been a bright start. Sakai has been around the block a couple of times, the 33-year-old fullback. There's Klamowski, replaced Albert Puig in the close season, previously the coach of Shimizu and Montedio Yamagata, Hogmo. Charged now of his 10th club job. Brilliant job at Hecken in Sweden, won 60 of 109 games there. Comes with vast experience. Needs to shore them up defensively, because that's where there are question marks, certainly. When you're trying to improve a team, which he is, you certainly don't want them to get worse in one single area like they have done. Watanabe was caught. He feels that everything is going against him. What he will feel was a perfectly good goal disallowed. Foy Bratton. Cleared by Henrique. on the opening day against San Frecce, the Uruwa Reds, and then four unbeaten, a couple of draws and a couple of wins. Decent form so far. And there's a free header. We've had chances at either end. Only thing we're missing here is a goal. Naoki Maeda has already scored this season, his first at the club. Really should have grabbed a second here. Moski would have to ask defensive questions. Here comes Thiago Santana. Maeda chasing across. Suddenly it's FC Tokyo who are under pressure. Flags up over on the far side. It 
was on his heels a bit, wasn't he? I don't think that should have been an offside. It was off a, an FC Tokyo player. Not that it mattered. It didn't lead to a goal or anything like that. Here's Hoy Bratton. Ishikawa. was very nearly given away. And that's going to be a free kick. Keenly contested in that midfield area. Arms raised in the challenge, not with any uh, vehemence, though. Watanabe with the throw. Here's Ohata. Just clipped there, Ohata, as he played it forward. And the play switched by Gustafsson. Hiroki Sakai now. It's a really good bursting run, and it nearly reaches Thiago Santana. Arriving late as well was Ryoma Watanabe. Especially big day for Urua's left-sided striker, formerly of FC Tokyo. Always means that little bit more. Is Anzai. Now Koizumi. And here's Ko, who scored that terrific goal that was then ruled out. Moments like that can just knock the stuffing out of a team. It's important for. Klamowski and FC Tokyo that it doesn't do that here. Here's Enrique. Now Kanta Doi. There's a Raki to send it wide once again. Araki. Haven't seen too much of him in front of goal. Their top scorer, the league's second top scorer. Biding his time, Ryotaro Araki. Thiago Santana. Oh, he goes for it from distance. Santana scores one of the most unbelievable goals you will see. There is one for the ages. 
from Thiago Santana. Nazawa off his line, and boy, did Santana take advantage. Here is one they will talk about for days and months to come. He looks up and he fires it. And that is a great hit on the run. Not too much time to think. If that doesn't end up being goal of the season, then boy, we're in for something special. could barely believe what they were watching. Smile on his face as the Urua Reds lead. We had a beautifully constructed goal at one end that was ruled out, but nothing wrong with that. A very different kind of goal. And the young goalkeeper paying the price of being out of position and well done to Santana for spotting it. moment of pure magnificence. And to do it as well on this stage, in this arena. Anzai. One of those goals, it feels like should count for more than one, but it is only one. that one quite as well. Here's Araki. Fantastic trajectory on that shot, wasn't it? He hit it flat. It wasn't one of those that went high into the sky and looped into the top corner. He saw the gap and exploited it perfectly. Lessons learnt by the young goalkeeper. And from Anzai, good play from Araki! Just over that near post angle from Riotaro Araki. That's better from him though, isn't it? Hoy Broughton. Chasing on to a loose pass now. As they look to build on the lead, good save that time. Hit by Watanabe, and this time Nazawa was equal to it. But this is a really good spell for the Urawa Reds. Against his old club here, Watanabe. In the end, it's 
Quite a comfortable save. Got across in good time. Tamed in towards the penalty spot and just bounced off them. Now here come FC Tokyo on the counter. Ryotaro Araki. Well, that's a great idea! And it's nearly a wonderful finish. And I think the home fans thought it was in. Just couldn't hook his left boot around it enough. So close, though. See a little look up there from Araki. Anzai just couldn't quite force that inside the post. Acknowledgement of the quality of the pass now. In the meantime, Nakamura's in a bit of trouble here. That's not the look of a player who's going to be able to continue. Looks like a painful one. Youngster Matsuki there, so mature. Just see him go across and have a word with his departing colleague. Excellent leader, isn't he? So here comes the change. Kosuki Shirai making his second substitute appearance of the season. Former Konsa and Kyoto Sanga player. Players know, and you can see that Nakamura knew there. He felt that pain in the, the hamstring. That will be uh, three or four weeks, hopefully no worse. Well, he'll be fuming. He thought his side had taken the lead, the what seemed excellent goal from Co. Ruled out rightly, but narrowly, and then conceding that long-range effort from Thiago Santana. Goal that's going to be replayed over and over. A few options here. Drilled in towards Thiago Santana, who right now believes he can do anything, and I don't blame him. Here's Ryotaro Araki. Sato wanted his goalkeeper to come there or wondered if he might.
Kei Koizumi. Now Kantadoi. That's Enrique. Tower at Sumida. Back with Kantadoi. There's Enrique. to go till half time here the side separated by a quite wonderful strike from Thiago Santana from the halfway line after FC Tokyo had had uh, what seemed at the time a good goal ruled out certainly a very well taken one by Takahiro Ko but it was a foul in amongst all of it and then eye off the ball there from Kuryu Matsuki Here goes Thiago Santana, terrific pass again from him. He's having an excellent game, leading the line. And Maeda. There's Ken Iwao. Pushed wide by Yota Sato. Runners all around here, Thiago Santana had made that darting run, but he was expecting, I think, a runner in behind. Foy Braten. Here's Ohata. Gustafsson. That's Ito. Thiago Santana. Watanabe makes a run and Santana fires wide. They took the defenders away for him, but he couldn't exploit the gap. Couldn't find that level of quality for a second time. in the back on Matsuki, yep. Certainly heavy contact. support here for FC Tokyo good header back across as they go hunting down an equalizer
to do it. Now Koizumi. Nagande little tug on the shirt I think from Thiago Santana he's slightly fortunate not to be booked there if that was what it looked like Koizumi that's Enrique over here by uh, Bang Nagande. There's the little look up. I think he'd spotted it before and then he saw it again and boy does he execute. What a moment that is. Steady to hear the thought process found there by Watanabe because that little look up to me says that something he'd already seen or maybe they even saw the 18 minutes he played as a substitute last time. Has it in mind to do it and then still got to do it though, haven't you? taken by Ohata and then a little tug on the shirt of Thiago Santana only a second goal for his new club got 12 for Shimizu last year of course one of the many Brazilians making an impact on J League Always has been the case. Zico Link. Here's Enrique. Gustafsson. Back all the way by Ohata. Gustafsson. Watanabe dispossessed. Forward by Matsuki, here's the danger man, Araki. Now Anzai, oh, cleverly done by him. Araki was smart enough to leave that alone, and then the cross is into the hands. Too easy, really, for the vastly experienced Shusaku Nishikawa. And that's a great clearance kick from him. 
expect we'll have a fair few minutes added on. There's been an injury and, of course, that brief VAR. Wasn't one of those ones that took forever. Wide by Takahiro Ko. The player denied by that VAR check. Tadoi, pushed forward then by Enrique. Can they strike on the stroke of half time? Five added minutes. A small ball through again, Gustafsson across. Real threat right at the end of the half and headed just wide by Anzai. Feels slightly unfortunate to be behind here. FC Tokyo having scored what felt like a good goal at the time. Even though it should have been ruled out, it was still a touch unfortunate. And then to concede a goal like they conceded, having had plenty of the play, well, probably are a shade unlucky. But when you said the forward produces a moment of brilliance like that, well... You two probably deserve to be in front. Here's Kanta Doi. Now Soma Anzai. Bang Nagande. There's Matsuki, tumbles over. One final attacking move maybe from Urawa, but Sakai went over. Koizumi. It's Ryotaro Araki. Went in between them. They couldn't make their minds up. Now Santana with a flick inside. And he keeps going. He's had some half. Tiago Santana. Winning over fans of his new club, I would imagine, very, very quickly, the 31-year-old. Ryoma Watanabe is going to leave the throw here for Ayumo Ohata. Two of the added minutes remain. Still Urua ahead, thanks to that extraordinary goal from Thiago Santana. Ken Iwao. Ooh, that's a touch wayward, isn't it? Miss Q. by Iraqi this time Matsui there to challenge as we move into the final minute of the added five
Here's Enrique. Thank Nagande. Strict to air the near post. They're desperately trying to prevent the corner, which they have done. Maybe time for one final attack. No, there isn't, though. Well, a half that will linger long in the memory because of one moment created by that man, Thiago Santana. A stunning goal from the halfway line to beat the keeper, Nazawa, who was out of position, but still what a finish it was. And all of that after the home side had had a goal, a very well-worked goal disallowed for a foul inside the penalty area. Takahiro Ko denied his first goal for his new club, but... The man of the half, unquestionably, Thiago Santana. His goal, his remarkable goal, means at half-time it's FC Tokyo nil, Uruwa Reds 1.
していただいたなっていう感覚でしかないです。自分が何か求めていくというか、誰かに求められたことを達成したいというそういうタイプなので、一番見せたかったですね。ああ、確かにそうだと思う選手だから、それは寂しいですね。ちょっとね Welcome back to the National Stadium in Tokyo, where we've watched a game, a half really, on this most special of occasions. Lit up by one remarkable goal that truly matches the surroundings. Thiago Santana from the halfway line, giving the Urawa Reds a narrow advantage after FC Tokyo had had a, it was a very good goal, but just nothing. Uh, Compared to the goal that he scored, that was ruled out. But then Thiago, well, it was a real wow moment. Picks it up there. Little look up there. Just extraordinary.
it's not just a strike, it's where he picked the ball up. Did an awful lot of work before the crucial moment. Well, he has left his mark on this game, but of course they want to take three points from this game. Zaha made that one good save from Watanabe. He's at fault for the goal because of his position, but he's still unfortunate. You're supposed to expect everything, but it's hard to expect that. So just that one early change, enforced change for FC Tokyo. Otaka Nakamura replaced by Kosuke Shirai. No changes at half-time. I'm sure they will come from Klamowski if things don't change, though. Forward by Sakai, here's Gustafsson. Sumida now to drive one, and Nishikawa was interested for a moment there, the goalkeeper. Good positive run from the 19-year-old Kota Tawara Sumida. Two goals in his debut season last year. Confirmation of the two teams, and one change. Should I on for Nakamura at right back? Araki has been excellent, leading the line here. Just drops that a little bit deeper on occasion as well, and here's the Uroa side. So far, haven't looked rock solid, but have kept a clean sheet. But they're under pressure here, little nudge in the back. At some point, he's going to have to show a card, I think. That was... Pretty cynical from Sakai, pushing the back after a good, positive run. So Riotaro Araki flourishing this year after big injury problems the last two seasons. He stands to one side and Matsuki to the other. Both young players with a great deal of talent. And it goes from Iraqi and Nishikawa deciding to push it behind. Safety first on a very, very wet day. There's the delivery, and there's another intervention from Nishikawa. Ohata now. Santana. Bang Nagandi. Still going here, Bang Nagandi. This is much better! And it's Iraqi again! Can't keep him down! Five for the season now for Riotaro Iraqi, and they have the equaliser they probably deserve.
and this time it should stand. I can't see any problem with that. Good positive run initially from Bang Nagande. Fired in hard and low. Nothing Nishikawa could do. Finally, Klamowski can celebrate. Done really well to stretch and pull this back. What a run that was from Tower Atsumida. Suddenly they've come alive here, FC Tokyo. Ohata was trying to foul there, and in the end it's dragged wide. Lucky there. Ayumo Ohata, watch this, he's pulling the shirt. He goes down there, Ohata's in trouble. It's Enrique, an enlivened FC Tokyo here. Equaliser has given them real momentum. Dropping deep again, Araki. And Suke's made a good run, and it's good hands on that by Nishikawa. Sumida. Now Ko just beyond Riotaro Araki. He's enjoying this. Ten goals he scored in 2021, his best season, and he's already halfway there. Double change coming. Tomoaki Akubo and Yusuke Matsuo, the two. Here come the changes then. Just feels, I think, that he needs a bit of fresh inspiration, fresh legs, so... Maeda and Sakai, the two to make way. 
Kubo. An excellent season in that last campaign. Natsuo on for Sakai. Natsuo scored in the uh, remarkable four-all draw at Shodan Belmare. Great game, but led many to question their defending. Makes them fun to watch, as they have been again today, but Thiago Santana's brilliant strike cancelled out by a very good finish from Ryotaro Araki. Solid defensive header and gets a chance now to maybe push forward. Yeah, referees brought them back. The ball away there, Gustafsson. It's Koizumi. Now Enrique. So Kenny Wow to take this free kick. Solidly away. Bowled out quickly and effectively by Nozawa. Here's Matsuki. Tawarat Sumida now. A really good delivery, and in for their second, they've turned it round. Kuryu Matsuki on the volley. FC Tokyo in front. Nishikawa, I think, could have done better, but it's still a very good finish. Lovely moment for the captain. But once again, you would look at Urawa defensively here. Tower at Savita with that ball, and oh, he slipped. He slipped at the far post and allowed Matsui to steal in. Ayumu Ohata at fault there. Nishikawa gets a hand on it, but it would have been an exceptional save. Trailing at half time, but now they come roaring back. His mood would have changed. 
Two goals in eight minutes, FC Tokyo in front right now. Thiago Santana's marvel is going to count for nothing. Excellent ball in again as Tawarat Sumida gets into another great position. I think Hugbo needs to change something here. Half an hour to play at the National Stadium. Koizumi. It's Hoybraten. up on the near side but play allowed to continue tower at Sumida oh Thiago Santana applying the pressure was he fouled he thinks he was as he nicked the ball away now then as Nazar got himself in trouble Let's see again. He's not fouled. No argument there. If anything, it's the other way. It's certainly not a foul on Thiago Santana. See how that rain continues to drive down here in Tokyo. Target again was Thiago Santana. Bounced off him that time. Rotted through and the flag stays down to open up clear daylight, the chance for a Raki, but now the flag up anyway. Just off, wasn't he, as it was played, it was mighty close. So can Urua Reds find a way back into this? Doesn't feel like it at the moment. FC Tokyo outstanding in this second half so far. Looking for only their second win of the season.
fired away by Nazawa. better this from Hogmo's side as they look for a response. Ryoma Watanabe, now Atsuki Ito. Here's Hoy Braten. occasion this he's produced a goal to match it but his side behind can they find a response Uruwa corner again drilled hard and low into that near post it's so disappointing really poor ball in again Good chase forward this time, and again, Thiago Santana got there first and slipped. One or two players started to suffer, I think, with the rain on this surface. Sure-footed FC Tokyo, Tower and Sumida. Another excellent ball in from him. Just about prevents the corner, Nishikawa. Game is so stretched now. Here's Takehiro Ko. Akubo. Bit of time now to measure the cross. For Watanabe. Watanabe's moved over now to the right hand side after those two substitutions. Here's Gustafsson. Ryoma Watanabe. And Suo in towards Thiago Santana. Akubo. Now Gustafsson. Now it might be promising, but fired straight at the goalkeeper. Shoya Nakajima took over as a number 10 from David Moba Carlson last season back in August. Hasn't really been an instant hit, but he's going to come on and replace Kenny Wow. So once again, the uh, captain's armband has to move over from Sakai to Iwao and now elsewhere. This is a player, Nakajima, who could make a difference. Another former FC Tokyo player, Porto as well, Antalya Sport. Quite a story if he came on and changed things. It's 
Final 20. Forward by Iraqi. Here's Tomoaki Akubo. Won really well by Hoy Brand. The space here, his first touches is Nakajima. I think that almost came a bit too early for him. With fell kindly there for Tower at Sumida, and it's behind for a corner. Important challenge to try to slide inside, but still a corner to defend. their big day out of the National Stadium. Deep from Matsuki this time, headed back across. Just wouldn't fall for them. game at the moment. Moski prepares a double change. Keita Endo and Terahito Nakagawa. The two coming on here. Araki and Tower Atsumida have both been outstanding and both make way. Big call to bring Araki off. There's the moment where he brought them level. Five for the season now for the outstanding Ryotaro Araki. Joint top scorer now in J League with Rio Chivane of Jubilo Iwata. Scored more than anyone from open play. like Uroa Reds perhaps have to take a risk or two and are taking a risk or two now. Forward by Watanabe. Now then, chance for Akubo to try and run in behind. Thiago Santana makes the run, but they didn't have enough bodies forward. 
They do have a corner, though. Samuel Gustafsson to take. The follow-up is hit with force, but little direction from Watanabe. Attendance nearly 50,000, terrific. At the National Stadium on one of these special days in J-League. Bratton. Here's Ohata. Takahiro Ko. Now Endo. Well to get to the byline, but that ball drifts away. Let's do what FC Tokyo have already done. Come from behind to move in front. Sparkling start to the second half for FC Tokyo. Here comes Urua's response. Appeals for a hand there as it was pulled back. Atsuki Ito. Free kick goes Urua's way. I don't think they want to look at the, uh, the review. That cross from Akubo, the appeal for handball. got a different kind of set piece from which they can potentially profit here. Two further changes. Shinzo Kuroki, the veteran, is going to get a run out for 10 minutes or so. Thiago Santana wanted the free kick, but nothing doing. His argument is clear. There is a tug on the shirt, and I think he's got a point, hasn't he? Shihara for Ohata. Hiroki for Thiago Santana, who leaves us with that brilliant memory. Veteran Karoki, 37-year-old. 
on for the final ten. Ogbo saw his side in front, but to be honest, they probably deserve to be behind. With the pressure on him, it's a high-pressure job, Uroa Reds. Always with great expectations. The reigning Champions League winners. A lovely bit of skill, and then just stolen away at a crucial moment. One back though by Ishihara. Gustafsson. Plenty of options there in the middle. Samuel Gustafsson was good enough to score five goals in a campaign nine seasons ago, but he never wants to shoot here from really some quite good positions that he gets himself into. Opens up again for Urua here, but this time Ito ran out of room. Now Keita Endo. Disappointing end to a promising move. Looking to seal it here, and it opens up again, and it's poor from Endo, second opportunity he's had to provide a finish, provide something positive anyway. Foul by Gustafsson. This referee has done very well not to show a yellow card so far, but finally loses patience. Okay, he's so late, and he breaks up a positive attacking moment as well.
challenges like that and yellow cards like that really come with the territory, don't they, when you're playing where he's playing. Kuryu Matsuki is going to take this free kick. Clear it particularly convincingly. And here comes what I thought was going to be the winning moment. Sommer Anzai sliding in but couldn't make contact. Enrique with the turn and shot. He just didn't react in time. Behind for a corner. Matsuki gets the home fans going, they're nearly there. come firing back in the second half, come close to adding a third. And that's pushed behind for another corner for FC Tokyo. Again towards that far post and hammered away again. Hiroki dragged back, that'll be another yellow card, has to be for the shirt tuck. Particularly one as blatant as that from Kanta Doi. A Kubo. Is there going to be late drama here? Excellent build up play here, and this is the finishing moment. No. Look to be set up to perfection here. Watanabe pushing it wide, and then the former FC Tokyo player arriving. It was on target but deflected over. Player down now, 
maybe to allow them to reorganise. He's back to his feet, five added minutes. Gustafsson to take the corner. to float that back in. And then Nazao goes down rather cynically. Recovered well after a positional error. Led to them uh, conceding the opening goal, albeit still with a moment of sheer brilliance. further changes here with an eye on the clock poor old Thiago Santana is going to I think have that moment of joy and wonder deemed ultimately irrelevant here in terms of the match situation Harakawa is coming on and so too is Jaja Suki and Ko, who have both scored here today, but Matsuki's goal counted, and right now is the winning goal. Big, big contribution from him. Halfway through the added five. Face at the moment says it all. We're going to move level on points, these two, as it stands. Home game against Sagan, then trips to Takashiwa, and then a home game against Gamba to follow for the Urua Reds. FC Tokyo at home against Kashima Antlers next, and then a huge game for them away against Tokyo Verdi. Ninety seconds remain. Really entertaining. Played in extremely wet conditions, but in wonderful surroundings. And lining up the shot, oh, it's a wonderful hit! Nazawa makes a fabulous save. There's his moment of re redemption. And Suki Ito, and it was skimming into that far corner. And that was fingertips in difficult conditions from Nazawa, a corner to defend. In from Gustafsson, flick forward. Same player, Ito. Good defensive block there, and... They're very nearly over the line, but they've got their goalkeeper to thank. Stand in, remember, Nazawa. And he did so well to stretch across.
don't think this is going anywhere near the uh, penalty area. Kuzumi just wasting a bit more time. And they're just waiting for the final whistle. We're beyond the five now. Maybe one final chance to pump it forward. Again, the defensive header. I'm not sure where this added time is coming from. Matsuo. Now this should be enough for FC Tokyo, surely. Still we play, but no longer. Huge win for Klamowski at FC Tokyo. And how much it means to him with that glorious late save. Yes! They trail to the wonder goal from Thiago Santana. But then they roared back in the second half, Araki and then Matsuki. Two goals at eight minutes. And it proved to be enough. Disappointment there for Hogba, but deep down he'll know that his team did not deserve it. They were outplayed here. And there's the memory of that Thiago Santana goal, but in terms of the match, it counts for nothing because it's FC Tokyo's day. Quite wonderfully at the National Stadium, it finishes FC Tokyo 2, Uruwa Reds 1. So just time for us to wait and hear from one of the heroes, I imagine, Araki or Matsui, the goal scorers. Maybe even the goalkeeper. Atano will return, I'm sure, as number one, and Nazawa is still a work in progress. But what a wonderful save that was late on. Araki, brilliant in patches, Matsuki the same, and those two deserve to be the heroes, and him as well. See how much it means. It's just a normal league fixture in terms of the table, but it means a great deal to have the chance to play here at the National Stadium to win on this special day. FC Let's hear now from one of the heroes. まず今の心境から教えてください。え、ま、こういった難しいゲームを勝ち切れたことは即次に繋がる試合になったと思いますし、まず今日勝てて放っとしてます。逆転ゴールとなったゴールシーン、見事なボレーでした。あのシーン振